Hey there, Chad Bonja here for High University Libraries. I am an avid sports fan, and one of the things I really like about watching sports and listening to sports is after the game when the coach talks to uh, the, new, the sports broadcasters about um, how the game went, you know, what things they can use to get better, things that they, you know, did really well. Did you know that there is information like that for publicly traded companies? They're called fair disclosure transcripts, and they typically occur quarterly after companies release their earnings conference calls. This video shows you how to find those transcripts in LexisNexis. So here you go. To begin, I'd like to give you a little information about what the fair disclosure wire is and how far back it goes in LexisNexis. You can see it goes back to April 2nd, 2001 through current, and it looks like it's updated within four days of publication. And what this is, is um, the, the wire contains, uh, I'm just going to read straight off here, wire contains events, uh, event briefs and transcripts of analyst calls. Basically, when, when analysts talk to executives of publicly traded companies when they release their quarterly earnings and that sort of thing, they do a phone call to basically ask them questions. And what these are, these are transcripts of those calls verbatim, and basically it's a good way to get um, some of the information from the, the executives as far as where the company is going, why their numbers are down, why their numbers are up, and you may be able to glean some information about some of the company's strategy going forward. So it's a great source for that kind of information. Now admittedly, uh, Nexus makes it a little bit difficult to find what you're looking for in the, in the case of this FD Newswire. What we're going to do, you have to know that you, the name of the publication, I've already told you, it's FD Newswire. So we're just going to search for a publication and then go over here and type in FD. And from the list here, we see FD Fair Disclosure Wire. And we click there and just do a search. Now what this will do, you see it searches and gets 10,000 plus results. That's because it hasn't actually searched for a company there. Now what I found, I tried two different things. I'm searching for Cumulus Media. Uh, it's a company that, that does uh, radio broadcasting. It's one of the companies that my students are working on right now. Uh, they recently uh, filed, uh, filed for bankruptcy, and so we're, we're in doing some restructuring. So I want to find some of the, the, the conference calls uh, from this company. So I'm going to search for Cumulus Media within the results here. And you can see I get some things about Cumulus Media, but I'm getting a bunch of other stuff that's not Cumulus Media. So what I found is if you actually, and you kind of miss it, up here, you can search within Fair Disclosure Wire to search for Cumulus Media this case, this way and hit the uh, magnifying glass there to search. It looks like this search does a better job of actually looking for the, the company that I'm actually looking for here. So you can see my, my, my search results are a little bit better. I've got no idea why this is different than, than this, but uh, you use this search box up here to search within the publication of Fair Disclosure Wire. Now, what these are, these are basically transcripts. You know, it'll give you a who was on the call and the operator and that kind of thing. And it basically kind of walks you through, like, you know, what they did with their, their earnings and that sort of stuff. What I like about it is you get information like this that talks about their initiatives looks like they complete a full route of something called C-Suite, which they collect some digital tools and things like that. They move to a product called, you know, something called West, Westwood One. So this gives me additional things that the company wants to highlight that I, as a researcher, can then go back and do some more research about. So it's a good way to get information about, you know, the company's view of how they're doing and a little bit of company strategy. They're not, now, they're not going to tell you everything that they're going to be doing uh, for competitive purposes. But um, it's a good way to kind of get an idea as far as where the company uh, believes they're heading and what kind of things they need to steer to correct uh, some problems that they had. Hope this video helped you understand how to find those earnings conference call transcripts in Nexus Uni or LexisNexus, as I get used to calling it. Uh, if you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. We'd be glad to help you whenever I can. Take care and best of luck with your research.